Hey guys, welcome to another one of my reviews. And uh, this one is for a uh, very interesting product that, uh, that was sent to me uh, in exchange for a uh, review. It was a company that I reached out to uh, based on uh, something that happened to me. I was looking for a, a solution to my problem. And I found this product and asked them if they would uh, mind sending me a sample. They, they not only said yes, they said yes uh, readily without uh, any begging or groveling or anything. And what that tells me when a company does that is they got a product that uh, they're not afraid to, uh, to show. That's kind of what happened. And I don't normally uh, put stories in my review of personal things or how I come about uh, wanting to review this product. But I'm going to tell you a quick story of what happened to me and maybe you'll kind of understand uh, why I started looking for a product like this. I had some uh, air conditioner uh, issues uh, last year. I live in Arizona, you know, temperatures get up to 120 degrees here. Well, one day I'm at work 20 miles away. I have uh, pet guinea pigs. For those of you that are new here, I have guinea pigs and uh, care about them quite a bit as a matter of fact. I was at work and I just happened, you know, I don't know what, what it was. I was just sitting at my desk and something just told me to, to check the temperature. I have a Nest thermostat. And I just hit the app and I just wanted to just check the temperature and make sure the air conditioner was working. The temperature was at 85 degrees. Well, that's the maximum outer range that a, that a guinea pig uh, can, can survive. They, they are very... Uh, they're not very robust animals, you know what I mean? Like they don't, they can't, they can't take heat, they can't take cold. It, they have to, they have to be kept in a, in a, in a pretty, you know, within the 15 degrees or so uh, climate conditions. And it was at 85 degrees. I'm 20 miles away. I know the air conditioners failed. I know that that's what's happened. I jump up in a frantic frenzy blast out to my vehicle, drive all the way home at like a hundred miles an hour. Shouldn't admit this on camera, but it's, you know, it's over and done with. Nothing happened. We're all good. It's just the kind of thing when, when your pets are in danger, man, I can't, I can't tell you what I was, what, uh, what I was going through then because I, I knew at 116 degree heat, and I believe that's what we were facing that day, 116 degrees. When I arrived here at my house, the temperature was now at 94 degrees. Now we are in serious, serious danger now. I blast in the door, you know, hose my guinea pigs off in the sink and put them in a, in a, in a carrier and then run out to my van that I left idling, put them directly in front of the air conditioner and turned it up full blast. And, uh, and then I took off to uh, a friend's house where their air conditioning happened to actually be working. Thank goodness that uh, you know, I don't even know what made me check the temperature that day. I have no idea because I normally didn't. If I hadn't checked the temperature that day, uh, you know, we were looking at about noon. By the time I got home at five, it, it would have been it would have been a disaster. Maybe you're into cigars and you're you know you've got expensive cigars in your humidor and you need the temperature and the humidity to be uh, constant. Maybe you're to guns. You know, you you don't want antique guns. Uh, you know, you don't want the humidity to start rising uh, when you have antique guns. It's very important. Maybe you collect art or old money. You know, uh, maybe you collect uh, comic books. You know, whatever it is that you care about that is temperature and humidity sensitive, I'm here to tell you that there's finally a product that will help you protect those items that you care about. So let me just get into showing you what these are. And, and, and how they work. Uh, you know, they come in a box like this. The, the, uh, the gateway comes in this box, which I'll get to in a second. Gateway is not uh, required, but it's an added feature. This is all that comes in the box. It's just a box that this cube is sitting in here like this, right? And you have the instruction manual, which is, I mean, super super simple I mean look there's it, they, it's so simple they don't even write nothing they just put pictures <laughs> and, and I'm here to tell you it was that simple okay 
So you got the cube in the box and blah, blah, blah. And same with the, the gateway. Inside the gateway is just a spot for the gateway to sit and the exact same kind of instructions. That's all there is to it. Um, so I'm going to uh, talk about uh, what the deal is with this. iOS device, we got the obligatory Android device. We got one of each. We got the uh, apps loaded up on uh, both devices. There's no reason to talk about both devices in this particular review. Uh, when I do a review and the review requires an app, I test both. I test Android and iOS because recently I've discovered it's not uh, it's not just something that you should uh, hold, you know, take for granted that one works and the other one's going to work as good, just as good. That has apparently stopped being the case. So I now test both of them uh, at the same time, equally. So here's the app. I brought it up. I have two sensors. They sent me one and I loved it so much and I found different ways of using a second one. Um, this is the one I just put it on a on a carabiner and I could clip this wherever I need to know uh, what the temperature and humidity readings uh, you know it's just super useful for me so anyway inside the app this is what you see you've got the temperature which is this one the car the one that says carried sensor is this one the one mark guinea pigs is this one every couple of minutes it'll update uh, the gateway down here at the bottom what allows you to get your temperature readings uh, away from your home like Say you have, like I do, I have this at my guinea pig cage, right? Like this is sitting at my guinea pig cage, and then I go to work. Well, the gateway allows the information to be transmitted to me at work, you know, via the app. So I have warnings here. So this is, a, you know, you can do this by hour, day, week, month, year. I mean, it's, these are all your data. But, uh, okay, here's my settings for that sensor. You can name it. You can name it anything you want. You can set your minimum and maximum temperatures. And if it goes out of this range that you set, you, you, it will alert you. Same with humidity. If it goes in and out of your range, uh, it will alert you. And you can set these for anything that you want. You know, here's uh, here's the the data for the for today. You know, we can go back to, let's see here, 8 a.m. Let's see, no, let's see here. We'll go to, no, that's yesterday. Here's 8 a, mm, yeah, somewhere in here, about 8 a.m. And you know, throughout the day, you know, it's it's, you know, it stays an average of 75 degrees. It's between 75 and 76 degrees, you know, at the guinea pig cage. <laughs> and the humidity, you know, rises and falls depending on uh, the time of day as well. So that's basically what they do. And they are dead nuts easy to, uh, to set up. All you do when you first get these uh, sensors, you click this add button right here, right? And let me see, can you guys see that? And then right here it says add sensor, add gateway. You just click add sensor and it'll pop up a picture of this square on your screen. It'll just be sitting right there. All you do, because I don't want to lose my data, I should have filmed me setting it up, but I didn't realize it was going to be so quick, so fast, so easy. I, I've never set up anything. I do reviews all the time. I have never set up anything this easy in my life. All you do is you click add sensor, you put this on the square, and that's it. That's all there is to it. Same with the gateway. The gateway, you click add gateway, and it says put your device near the gateway. Boom. That's it. That's all there is to do. It's all, I mean, it's magic. It's all magic. I was going to say automatic. It's auto magic. All of it's auto magic reviewed a lot of products and I've never had a product exceed my expectations in, in such a way. I've been using this for uh, three weeks. I emailed them to let them know that I wanted to buy another sensor, that I wanted to test another sensor. And one of the things that I needed to find out, I'm at home, these, these communicate with via the gateway, but if I take this with me and leave this one here can I still see the data on both and the answer is yes it automatically and seamlessly switches to Bluetooth 
uh, as soon as you get away from the gateway and then it and then you still get the data seamlessly there's nothing to do there's no buttons just to, to hit or nothing you can carry this around with you this one stays at home this one still uh, sends data to your phone and if you get out of range of both the, the gateway and your phone it will store the data and then when you get near it it'll 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 just update Oh man, I'm I'm telling you, they they I mean it's such a simple device, and it's and it's something that should have been solved by now by like things like Nest thermostats or security cameras or or they're just a host of other devices that we have in our houses. Seriously, can't do this? Are you kidding me? So this company, Sensor Push, they come along and solve a problem that a lot of us have. A lot of us have these problems with temperatures that need to be monitored. And they come along and they solve it in a big way. I, I cannot recommend these more. If you have any reason to know what the temperature is, these are, are better than those, those cheap digital meter things that you set on, you know, on a shelf or whatever you know the the ones that everybody buys these are better than that in every way if you need to know the temperature in your vehicle or outside your vehicle say you've got a camper or an RV you know and you want to know the temperature inside and outside uh, humidity readings boom there's there's your solution right there man solution right there they're not waterproof directly but if you put these underneath something that where they're not going to get directly sp uh, splashed with water, and the reason why they can't be waterproof is because of the humidity sensor, it has to be open to air. What I, you know, what I do is I just put this under uh, an awning or something like that to where, you know, it can't get wet. It's been working awesome for me, man. Uh, battery lasts uh, a couple of years. Can't think of anything else to tell you, man. If you've got a reason to to have something like this man I'm telling you this is the best solution this is it right here I love this thing uh, thanks for watching I hope this helped you guys out in some way we'll catch you on the next one on that end